October 4th, 2023. Memorial of St. Francis of Assisi. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. In the month Nisan of the twentieth year of King Artaxerxes, when the wine was in my charge, I took some and offered it to the king. As I had never before been sad in his presence, the king asked me, Why do you look sad? If you are not sick, you must be sad at heart. Though I was seized with great fear, I answered the king, May the king live forever. How could I not look sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been eaten out by fire? The king asked me, What is it then that you wish? I prayed to the God of heaven and then answered the king. If it please the king, and if your servant is deserving of your favor, send me to Judah, to the city of my ancestors' graves, to rebuild it. Then the king and the queen seated beside him asked me how long my journey would take and when I would return. I set a date that was acceptable to him, and the king agreed that I might go. I asked the king further, If it please the king, let letters be given to me for the governors of west of Euphrates, that they may afford me safe conduct until I arrive in Judah. Also a letter for Asaph, the keeper of the royal park, that he may give me wood for timbering the gates of the temple citadel and for the city wall and the house that I shall occupy. The king granted my requests, for the favoring hand of my God was upon me. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land we hung up our harps. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Though there our captors asked of us the lyrics of our songs, and our despoilers urged us to be joyous, sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not, if I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord.